Hi everyone, we're rocking the gray hair, the three shadow eye look that I put together in like 10 minutes and we are all levels of exhausted, but I still really wanted to talk about this new Ulta semi-annual sale event. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about what I think about the sale in general and me going through the products and letting you guys know what I think is worth picking up, what I think we should all stay clear of and what is on my wish list, then I hope that you will stick around and keep on watching. Well, hello, how are you guys all doing? I hope you're having a great week. It's only Wednesday here and my week has already been so emotional and so exhausting <laughs> that I'm ready for it to be over. So hence, rocking the homey sweatshirt. I literally like only wear this around the house or occasionally to run errands or even less occasionally to actually go jogging in, to actually like go for walks or runs in. So this is my loungy, casual, sweatshirt that normally I wouldn't really wear on camera but I, I can't I can't I was even gonna first film with no makeup on I was gonna throw on just mascara and a bright lipstick and call it a day but just for myself I was like you know what no you should you should put on at least a little bit of makeup play around a bit maybe this looks a, more dramatic than it really is I used literally I think three shades and I'm trying today for the first time this Dominique Cosmetics Berries and cream palette. If you guys have watched my February slash Valentine's Day recommendations, I mentioned in there that this was going to be one of the palettes I wanted to use because it was brand new in my collection. It was still sitting around completely unloved and it's a beautiful palette. Not sure how I feel about the formula yet. At this point, it could be so many things going against this poor palette. It's old even though it's brand new and um, I don't know. The dark blue was a little bit tricky to blend but it's it's also a dark blue, so it could be that. Anyway, before I make this all about what's on my face, which is not what this video is about, let me quickly introduce myself and let's uh, get into what we're here to talk about today. So yeah, if you're catching one of my videos for the very first time, then thank you so much and welcome. My name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. In 2024, I am focusing primarily on makeup products that are already in my collection. So essentially, I am on a low buy. I want to discover and in a lot of cases rediscover products that I haven't either used in a really long time or that have been sitting around and I just never got a chance to use in the first place like the eyeshadow palette that is on my eyes today. So if you're interested in content where we try to be more conscientious with our purchases but where I still really love to talk about all things beauty and makeup and I do love trying new products occasionally and chit-chatting about them as we will today, then I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing. So Ulta threw this big news at us that it is completely revamping the 21 Days of Beauty, which to be honest, has been my favorite sale for years and years and years. It's one of the sales I always look forward to the most, even more so than the Sephora sales because I'm a deal hunter. So for me, 20%, even at Rouge status, is just usually not good enough. <laughs> so I've always loved the 21 days of beauty. They're still doing, I guess let's start at the beginning before I get into, I was going to say they're still doing the 50% off deals, which they are, but essentially 21 days of beauty has been renamed to the semi-annual beauty event. I did actually get to attend like a Zoom meeting with some of the Ulta representatives to find out a little bit more about the sale. They didn't really quite get into as to why they did it. I mean, the only the reason that Ulta has been advertising and uh, what these reps were saying, which I'm sure is what they're supposed to be saying, is essentially because they're now including a lot more products in this sale in order to not overwhelm everybody, they are like splitting it up and doing a different format where they're releasing products every week as opposed to the full 21 day sale all at once. What's my take on it? 
<laughs> what's the tea this is actually tea i've i mentioned it's been a week i've had one of my closest childhood friends her father was diagnosed with a very severe cancer a few weeks ago and she's just been going through through it like she she also has a very ill mom it, it's been a whole thing so while i'm not physically there to help her obviously it's been really hard seeing her go through what she has to go through at the moment another very close friends of mine just had to say goodbye to their four-year-old dog i have a friend whose husband is having open heart surgery tomorrow it's it's been it's been a time i've had more comfort tea today than my bladder can handle but here we are this is chocolate mint tea from i believe the company stash in case you're into teas and i put a little bit of sugar and some oat milk in it because i was in the mood for like good old british cream and sugar kind of situation except i can't have cream but i have oat milk and that is actually quite yummy all right let me before i continue let me actually scooch over i'm gonna try to screen record my computer because as you guys probably know for those of you that have been here with me i record on my phone in fact let me check to make sure i'm recording i am recording yay i record on my phone so i have my computer right down here on my desk and that's what i'm gonna be looking at for this entire video i also well okay let me scooch now because it's a computer screen record obviously it's gonna be wider so i hope I hope I can fit it somewhere here somehow and things are not too small and you guys can actually see what I am doing. So let me see. I hope that I am recording. I guess I will find out in editing and if I'm not, I'm gonna have to put pictures of everything which is gonna be much more difficult, but it is what it is. So as you can see right here, the semi-annual beauty event preview and it's even says 21 days of beauty, got a glow up, 50% off beauty steals, hair care deals and so much more. So that's one of the things they're now gonna include a lot of other products. Usually it's been makeup and skincare mostly and now there's gonna be a lot of hair care which I'm not too thrilled about but there's a lot of things I'm not terribly thrilled about with this sale this is a preview of the first week so point two that I'm not too thrilled about you don't get the full 21 days to plan things out anymore you only get things a week at a time so they released uh, this upcoming week's products today Wednesday which is when I'm filming this and the sale starts on Friday which is when I'm hoping to put post this video but and then you can even see right here it says check back on March 13th for the following week's sale the March 15th through 21st and then check back on the 20th for the 28th uh, 22nd through the 28th beauty steals now I understand that they have a lot more products to go through now so yes maybe for creators it's hard to squeeze that much into a video although I I'm sure that you know the primary focus nowadays is on TikTok and short form. So people are probably going to be posting like videos daily about whatever's happening. Those who you know do this as a career. For a consumer like me, at least somebody who does not have an unlimited budget to be purchasing things. I used to love seeing everything that is on sale, planning out the few things that were like my tippy tops, and then seeing if I have any money left over for anything else. It makes it much harder now because I don't know what's gonna happen in the next two weeks after that. I only see the first seven days. So that's kind of a bummer. Editing me jumping in, looking as glamorous as ever to say that there was one point i forgot to mention i mentioned of course you will hear me talk about like from a consumer perspective why i don't like this weekly layout you will hear me talk about like from a consumer perspective why i don't like this weekly layout or maybe i already mentioned it but basically the other point that i really wanted to talk about and it completely slipped my mind is of course for ulta i mean they they say oh it's 
to make sure that our customers are less overwhelmed and our creators are less overwhelmed at the end of the day maybe that's part of it but i also think that it's not in ulta's best interest for us to have the full calendar so that we can budget accordingly they want us to spend money in the first week and then in the second week see something else we want even more and spend more money and then in the third week see something else and spend even more money right so at the end of the day we all have to be really careful i think in this sale and stick to our budgets and buy either only products that we would have bought regardless but now they happen to be on sale so yay or if you are purchasing something that you know for the first time that you want to try just be mindful of what you're actually going to use and what you're buying only because it's 50 percent off and if that's the main reason you're buying it maybe reconsider so yeah, those are my thoughts that I, I mean, I could elaborate on that, but I'm not going to because I think you guys get the gist and I look like hot mess express. So I don't want to scare you any longer. Back to my slightly less scary self. And as I mentioned before, for me, hair care, I don't care nearly as much about that. Not to mention Ulta has always had a separate hair event. So unless they are fully getting rid of that, I don't quite understand why we are mushing everything up together and just making it more confusing. I know that there's people that prefer Ulta does something more similar to Sephora, just do a general discount off of everything. And while yes, that also has its perks because Ulta obviously has a lot more more products than Sephora. I really used to love the format uh, because I really do prefer to just get a bigger discount. And if there's something in there that I like, yay. And if not, double yay, because I'm saving money. And let's also talk about, so the at this point it's too late for this. And if you were a diamond or a platinum member, you probably got the email and were aware of this. But the one thing that Ulta has changed this time around also is they gave a little bit of a preview a week in advance of the sale. So this past Sunday, which was whatever it was, the 3rd of March or something, they did a 24 hour only or one day only sale for platinum and diamond members. And it wasn't everything in the sale. They picked maybe around 50 products total from I'm guessing the full three weeks. I haven't looked yet carefully at what is in this first week. So I guess we'll see if I recognize anything from you know what whatever they did on Sunday, whether it's not here. Regardless, I we're gonna do a little Ulta haul because I did pick up a few things when that was happening. Well, I don't know. Do you guys want to see what I got first, or shall we run through the sale? I guess let's start with the sale, and uh, you know if I see the things I picked up, I can also let you know that they are what they are. If I am all over the place, I'm so sorry. As I said, it's it's been it's been a time. So if my brain is not braining, I am so. So sorry. All right, let's click on this first video so that I'm not here all night because it's already really late as always. First day, I am seeing the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex Serum. <sighs> already exhausted just from that name. I didn't even realize it was always this long. I always assumed it's just the Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is something I used to use years ago. I haven't in a while because it is expensive and I just have so much skincare. I will be doing a video probably in a few weeks where I actually finally go through all of my skincare and organize it and declutter a few things. So you guys will see that I have a lot of skincare. So I'm going to be as minimal as possible with buying skincare in the foreseeable future. However, I do have to say the when I used to use it, and granted I had younger skin back then, really enjoyed this product. So if this is something that you use, it's a great time to pick it up because obviously it is expensive as I mentioned. I have no idea which of these sizes are gonna be on sale because a lot of times Ulta will not put all the sizes on sale, but yeah, so there's that. A Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I'm not gonna go in detail through every item. It's not one I believe I've ever tried. It has four stars. If it's one you enjoy, fantastic. I have enough mascara. IJK good behavior four in one prep spray a hair i'm gonna skip over most hair products unless it's something that interests me and i think from that little preview that i just glanced over there's only one thing that interests me so if hair care is something you're looking for i'm sure this sale will be much better for you i'm gonna skip on most of it this however tula this 24 7 moisture hydrating day and night cream i just finished mine i believe i'm looking over at my empties bin because it is again overflowing 
recording i have to film my next empties because i promised myself that this year i would not hoard it for the entire year and this is a product i really enjoyed however i didn't love the smell i know a lot of people really like the smell i'm not one of those people so i was so pleased to see and i think i have it somewhere here in my tabs that tula just came out recently with a fragrance free version so i'm gonna link for you guys down below both of course the ulta products i'll probably just link my favorites and then just like a general link for the entire sale so that you can go through and make your own list but i'm also going to link for you guys the fragrance free version on the tula website in case you're interested in trying that because i really liked this cream and i'm tempted once my skincare life is a little more under control to repurchase the fragrance free option i'm so happy that they did that now all right here's a product that was in the pre oh no not this not this natalia the ulta website sometimes really drives me crazy but here's a product that was in the diamond and platinum members preview the peach and lily power calm hydrating gel cleanser i had a little baby size of this that i actually just finished i just brought it from the bathroom right before filming this video because i'm gonna put it in my empties i've talked before in other videos about how much i have been really enjoying peach and lily products and this is no exception i really like this cleanser and i'm living the cleanser life the past year i want to try every cleanser out there i have like all the minis that i've got gathered through gift with purchases and whatnot and I have them like all in my shower and I'm trying at least five different ones at a time so I guess let's do it this way as I see things I will show them to you I did go ahead and already pick this one up this is the as I said the power calm hydrating gel cleanser it is originally $29 it was on sale for $14.50, which is what it will be on sale for Friday, March 8th. So if I manage to put this video up in time and you guys are looking for a good, it's essentially exactly what it says. It's a calming, non-irritating, it's a calming hydrating gel cleanser so it is a gel but it's like very smooth and nurturing feeling it does not strip my skin i have dry skin it's just a very simple cleanser it's not one that i ever used to like get my makeup off or anything like that this was one i would use in the shower so a lot of times it would be my morning cleanse or my evening cleanse depending on you know how many showers i'm taking and at what time of the day i really really enjoyed this cleanser clearly i mean enough to read purchase it right away so i do recommend this um, here's a dual pack of the night repair serum we already talked about that again i'm gonna skip all of this igk hair care because i've never tried it nor am i interested in that right now and we have the waterproof version of the man eater again don't need mascara but you guys are always welcome to drop in the comments what are some of your favorite products in case others want some help and i can't provide any because i'm sure sure i haven't tried a myriad of these things we've got on the uh eighth as well online only beauty steel so they're doing both in store and online as well as online only so for online only the abh brow definer the the bigger triangle tip one is on sale it's originally 26 dollars, so i'm sure it's going to be 13 then we've got a, a gentle face soap or it's a mild okay all about clean liquid facial soap mild from clinique so i'm guessing it's a gentle cleansing uh liquid thing i just bought the peach and lily i don't need more we've got it's a 10 which is actually a brand i used to really like i used to get there that 10 in 1 miracle something or other this is the blow dry miracle h2o shield spray so basically like a prep for a heat protectant something i should own i don't know if i do so we'll, we'll see we'll see if i'm in the mood that day to get maybe a mini size if that one's on sale because they have i'm sure two different sizes because there's two different prices on here so i might grab a mini for eight bucks there's redken frizz this me miss hair mask i think i have enough hair products for now i do like hair masks but i i need to go through whatever i already own um, there's the beekman 1802 golden booster amla berry vitamin c brightening serum not something i'm gonna get but it looks interesting the bottle's cute the price is cute because at 50% off if this vitamin c serum is actually any decent 
that's a pretty good deal because it's $14.50. Well, that's the half an ounce. The one ounce is, the one ounce is <laughs> 44 so 22 dollars still a really good price the berry thing um kind of throws me off because it's like well but does that mean the vitamin c is diluted with something else and what is amla berry i have no idea it is a 4.7 star product with 647 reviews so if you've tried this one can you let me know because somehow the more i'm reading it the more interesting it's becoming we've got hair dryers i'm gonna skip all the hair dryers i don't need a hair dryer but if you guys do there seems to be several i think on this list so you can research some and see if one is right for you because 50 percent off obviously is a good deal more clinique we've got a foaming face cleanser i try to stay mostly away from foaming cleansers because those do tend to dry up my skin we've got the abh clear brow gel medium hold i don't need a brow gel i think i have a mini of their regular one i don't know if their regular one is considered medium hold or something else but i'm good but again if this is a product you use for $11 great price that becomes almost drugstore price nowadays more Clinique more red can more Beekman 1802 but this is the Bacuccio better agent serum I haven't tried Bacuccio so again something that I would be curious about something that also seems to have pretty good ratings it's a 4.6 so and similar prices which looks appealing so please let me know if you've tried this brand what you like from it and then they also have the collagen booster electric daisy and peptide firming serum also from beekman we've got clinique even for men face wash which is cool more beekman product oh wow okay so there are the basically all of their serums seem to be on sale so it's just a matter of what one is looking for there's the uh, blemish one there's an exfoliating one there's more it's a 10 redken and clinique products and yeah and it's it's just a lot i can't I can't keep up with this much. And again, it's a lot of hair care. It's a lot of hair care, which I, I don't know how I feel about that. But it's what we have, so we have to roll with it. Okay, moving on to March 9th in store and online we have the benefit hula which is of course a cult classic it is 36 dollars originally so it's going to be on sale for 18 i'm sure it is one that i used to have for many 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 years and if i remember correctly i finally decluttered mine in my most recent declutter series so i'm I'm okay without it. But if it is one you love or if it is a product you've never tried and you've been itching to, obviously $18 is a lot better than 36. This, the Clarence Double Serum Firming and Smoothing Concentrate. This is something I was really close to purchasing because it was in the preview. I've tried samples of this before through Influencer and I've even connected online with a lady who, is she in Houston, Texas? I can't remember, but she's a rep for Clarence and she was even mentioning to me that if I have any subscribers who live in Texas and want to come into her store she will make sure that you guys get like extra samples and take care of you so if I remember I'm gonna put her information down in the description box in case you want to go in and or you want to message her and see if she's going to be in store on that Saturday when this double serum is going to be on sale this is a really nice product I remember it left my skin looking more glowy more refreshed um, I have dry skin as I mentioned. If I remember like the pump has two uh, openings and there's two types of products that come out at the same time or maybe mm, no maybe it's mixed in the bottle and then comes out from one opening but like you can almost see that it's two different serums because they're slightly different consistencies. One is like more watery one is more oily so you do have to kind of like mix them in your palm but I remember really enjoying this. So if I see that this is in my budget which right now my budget is really tight and I'm trying to not buy a lot of things I would love to purchase this it's just it is expensive so if this is a product you love or you want to try I really do recommend it at 50% off obviously because $92 for one ounce is expensive it really is but for 46 is a little bit better and then I I, I want to say it was just the one ounce that was on sale during the preview so I'm assuming that that's what's going to be on sale on Saturday March 9th 
signs, but I can't be sure of that. We've got Purology leave-in conditioner. Okay, so Purology hair products. I'm not interested in that, so we're gonna go right through that. It brushes Folta. They're great brushes. I just, I just did a blush declutter. I can link that video for you guys if you're interested. It was the very last video I just posted. So I am unfortunately, as much as I love brushes and as much as I love the It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta, I'm not going to be looking at the brushes in the sale. However, if you're in need of some brushes, look through because it seems like they have a lot of them on sale this first week, not just on this day, but you'll see more later. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've had really good things about this, especially for like covering up acne. I tend to not really enjoy powder concealers. I used to have quite a few back in the day. I've decluttered all of them years ago. And while this is a pretty much a cult product by now, I, I think I'm gonna skip over it. But if this is one that you use, you know, $16 seems like a really good price for that. And I hear that it lasts forever. Then we've got Fenty Beauty Matchstick uh, Correcting Skin Sticks. So what, this is the, uh, oh, I guess this is the color correcting uh, sticks. Again, not a product that I would use often enough to justify purchasing right now, but I know color correcting has been pretty popular again, so maybe this is something you would be interested in. There's the Billie Eilish perfume. Um, I need to go through all the perfumes in this household and all the samples, and I need to try to stay strong and not buy any more perfume. I even started a little perfume journal. So if you guys are interested in videos on perfume, I have... I have have notes from myself and then for you guys if you're curious I have like even just on my desk I have all the samples and all the things I'm currently testing and trying in my collection my scent birds I just got a new one today in the mail there's a lot happening in, with perfume in this apartment I don't need any more more Fenty Beauty so I see so we got the correcting the contour and the shimmer and the glow skin sticks all on sale from Fenty. Okay, well that's actually more interesting. I've never tried any of them. So if you have any recommendations for me, do let me know. Oh, and the color adaptive cheek ones too. I missed it because it was in a different red packaging. Ooh, that actually, that sounds really intriguing. And there's only eight reviews, but they're all five stars. Okay. All right, so we've got the brushes, the Fenty sticks, the NARS concealer, the Clarins serum that I wish I could afford right now, and the Hula bronzer on this day. And then we've got the online products from the same day. Oh my God, this is a lot. The Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. I have heard so many good things from so many beauty creators for so long about this product that this was one I did cave and buy. Not that I need any more setting mist, but it was was eight dollars and fifty cents for this 2.8 ounce size and i decided i wanted to try it the cap was off because it's not very sturdy. It was off in that package, so I'm hoping that like none of the product got wasted is essentially what I'm saying, but I haven't tried it yet. I just got this today. Um, all right, so we've got two setting mists from Morphe, the continuous prep and set, and then just the continuous setting mist. I just got the setting mist. I think because I've seen everybody use this one in the black packaging, I don't even think I read about the other one, or maybe it was not in the preview. Um, there's the Bumble and Bumble hairdresser invisible oil frizz reducing hair oil everybody seems to love bumble and bumble i've only tried one of their products many years ago and hated it and i think because of that i am now scared of bumble and bumble so if you have any products that you really love uh, let me know maybe one day i will try to get over my fear of bumble and bumble diva curl is another brand i used to use it was okay i'm kind of take it or leave it about diva curl iconic london i've heard good things about as far as their face products especially so this multi use blush bronze and highlight cream palette in theory sounds good but in practice i know i'm not going to use all these shades that deep dark one right there like on on this paper white skin it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything the blushes do look really pretty all three shades look pretty especially the shimmery one whether i guess that's a highlight i would probably use that as a blush topper it would probably be too deep on me and then this peachy blush looks really pretty and then i would assume i would have to use like this lightest shade or mix these two together and that 
would be absolutely useless. But I guess if you're doing makeup on multiple people, maybe you would enjoy that. I don't know. I have enough palettes. And then there's the contour brush. Okay, that makes sense. You're selling the palette. You're also throwing in at 50% off the brush. But nothing too interesting for me here. Let's move on because we're only on day three, people. March 10th. Sunday, Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. I have only tried samples of Olaplex, so I don't feel like I've ever used them long enough to have any opinions. Let us know if this number no. six bond smoother is something worth looking into. The MAC Studio Fix powder, the foundation one, this I think is like a cult classic. I mean, it's been around for I think more years than YouTube and beauty creators and all of that. Like, this is definitely a product that if you've used would be a great buy at $22 instead of $44. I'm not really into powder foundations just because I am so dry, but I know people that really love this product. So Peach and Lily, they have this melt oil, the ginger melt oil cleanser that I've recently heard somebody talk about saying that they absolutely love this product. And I'm not usually into oil cleansers, but I am tempted to pick this one up because it's going to be I guess what $17.50 instead of $35. I know I just got this one. But I'm on a peach and lily kick. I am really out here trying to get everything eventually. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's over exaggerating a bit, but if I had the opportunity, I definitely would not say no to trying more peach and lily products. So I am eyeing that one. Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff Dual Sided Powder Puff. $18, so even on sale a nine. No, thank you. I have my pawpaw sponges, which I think are still a buck fifty-five despite the inflation. And then I've purchased several of the those flat puffy things that are popular now from both Amazon and then I got one from Singe Beauty which is Anjela Kaniqua's brand. I think that one was also about $9. So I'm good for now. More It Cosmetics brushes. Again, great brushes. I just don't need any right now. And then there's this MAC Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. And I don't know anything about this. I don't even know if MAC Skincare is any good. Um, It is $65 for one ounce, which at full price is definitely up there. So I guess if this is something that interests you, getting it on sale seems like the ideal time, but I'm not going to pick that up. All right, same day, but we've got the online. Um, no, not yet. We don't have anything right now because my old computer is acting up. I might need to stop this screen record and give my computer. Okay, so I needed to take a little break because my computer was freaking out. It's really old and I don't know what is happening here. I, for some reason, cannot access the March 10th online beauty steals. Okay, wait, no, March 8th, I don't want what is going on here i'm trying to do this screen record situation and it is not working i is this going to be now for everything like that no okay I'm gonna just skip over the online steals from March 10th. I'm so sorry, guys. It just wasn't loading. And I really, I feel like I've already been here probably for close to an hour and we're we're just on day four. No, we're not even halfway through. So I'm gonna try to speed this up. Madison Reed Radiant Hair Color Cat. Don't need it. But if this is something you use, $15 instead of 30. Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow Enhancing Serum. These are the products that you have to use all the time. They work. As as long as you use them daily. So while buying it instead of $73 for $36.50, let's hope my math is still pretty decent from grade school days, what happens after you run out of it? Then you're committing yourself to buying it at $73. So if that is something in your budget and you are fine spending that amount, you know, regularly and you want to enhance your brows, then this would be, I think, a great product to try. I'm okay. I I can fill in my brows. I don't have a lot of brow hairs. They're just super long and a little bit annoying, but you know, it's the brows I have. I'm not really a brow person. Like I don't really care too much. So definitely not something I would want. Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Cult favorite. I don't need eyeliner because I barely ever wear a liquid eyeliner. I can't remember the last time I have. It's been years. And then the Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. Another 
really, really popular one for decades by now. One that unfortunately is a bit too drying for my skin personally, but I know people that use it and love it. It is one that used to be incredibly popular in probably like the early 2010s, if not even before that. So, you know, it's still around, which must mean enough people still really truly love it. It's a good cleanser, just not for dry sensitive skin, I think. I think it would be great for normal to oily skin. Okay, that was, what was that? That was March 11th in store and online. And now let's see if the online only will load. Looks like it is loading. We have the Pure Foreign one pressed mineral makeup powder. I feel like there has not been a single Ulta, well, used to be 21 days of beauty sale without this product. It's, it's always on sale. So again, it must be popular enough to still keep in the lineup, but not popular enough to keep it at full price. If it's something you use, great. I don't wear powder foundation much. We've got this Dime Ceramide and Camellia Restorative Night Cream. I don't know the brand. I don't know anything about the product, but the reviews are impressive. 374 reviews and it's 4.8 stars. So whatever this is seems like it's really good. It says lock in moisture all night long with dime, ceramide, and camellia restorative night cream. The gentle and hydrating cream helps to repair your skin overnight while reducing the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. I mean, it sounds nice. I just, I don't think I need to be buying any more skincare right now. I'm always curious about it, but I only have one face and I really need to go through the products that are already in my closet. Biosilk is having a lot of their products. I don't know if it's the whole line or not, but a ton of their products on sale. And I have to say, I love the Silk Therapy Original. It is a heavy oil. It's like for shine. But if I use just a little bit in my hair, it really does give it like that little bit of glossiness, that little bit of life back. So I am considering getting this travel size. I'm always on the lookout for it in like TG Maxx or Marshalls, but it usually there comes in like this giant size and like a pack with the shampoo and the conditioner and i don't want all that i just want the little size because i use so very little at a time that this bottle will last me and it's 1950 originally so it's going to be on sale probably for the 875 or whatever it is i might be picking that up especially since i am platinum so i believe i will have free shipping on all of this that is actually something i didn't even look at i don't know if they're still going to keep Keep that part of it the same because it used to be in the 21 days of beauty that if you were platinum or diamond you would get free shipping on all of the daily steals i am considering the biosilk i don't know if i missed anything else on that day if i did i'm sorry let's keep going march 12th the about face eye products are on sale and again i'm not getting it's not loading how frustrating how incredibly frustrating is it my computer or is it the ulta website what is going on since it's not loading i guess i'm just gonna have to talk about these four products that i'm seeing in the little photo but i do remember looking on my phone earlier today when the it was released i did scroll through quickly i didn't look carefully but i do remember i think all of the about face eye products were on sale i have a few of their liquid shadows but i have yet to try them those are still sitting around in my basket of shame so to speak i can show you guys here i had a little set of these matte ones. These are the matte fluid eye paints. So I have three bold colors and I think one or two neutral colors. So brand new. And then I have one of their shimmer ones, the fractal eye paints. So I need to actually play around with those. I have friends though that really enjoy them. So if you've been wanting to try them or you want more colors because you already like them, March 12th is the day to grab them. What I believe I also saw, and I'm actually wearing my only two eyeliners from them today, is they're also gonna have, what are these called? The long wear gel eyeliners on sale. I really like them so far. I have, where's my other one? I have Equestrian 
which is the brown one, and Sad Girl, which is the blue one. I have Equestrian today in my upper waterline, tight line, whatever, and then the blue one on my lower. The only thing about these is they are pretty soft. They do stay actually on the eye, but they are pretty soft. Because of that, I wouldn't recommend rolling them up too much. I made the mistake of doing that, and this pencil is now actually broken. I just kind of shoved it back in, and I'm trying to still use it. Reloading because it's using significant memory let's give this poor computer a little break yeah so i'm really enjoying these liners i wish i could be on the computer to see what other shades there are and tell you guys what would be on my wish list but i might pick up one or two of these again everything's gonna depend this is why i wish i could see all 21 days because for me everything boils down to finances maybe it shouldn't just boil down to that maybe i should be more conscientious about my purchases regardless of my finances but especially when your finances are tight and you want to be minimal about what you're buying, it helps to know the entire sale so that you can decide what is top priority and what is less so. Because I do have eyeliners, right? Like they might not be from About Face, but I have other eyeliners. So obviously if there's other things I wanna try more than new eyeliners, I'm gonna skip on them, but I would really recommend them. So I guess that's, that's kind of where we're at. Let's get back into this and see if it improves. Okay, so that was About Face and then they have oh we're loading now look at that okay so here we are we've got the glitter eye paints the fractals the matte fluid eye paints as I said I do have a few but I don't actually know anything about them because I haven't tried them yet <laughs> And this is why I need to buy less. More Redken. Any other uh, hair stuff? No. Okay. So just this Redken hairspray product. So if if you use hair, a lot of hairspray and you happen to like the Redken line, maybe that's something for you to check out. I heard from somebody recently that they really like this Live Tinted 3-in-1 Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer Primer and SPF. 30, and it does actually, it caught my attention for sure. However, I just have a lot of sunscreen that I need to go through. So I I need to not be buying anymore because it's gonna start expiring and I need to first use up what I have. First Aid Beauty is a brand I really, really enjoy. They have their Bump Eraser Buddy Scrub with 10% AHA on sale, as well as uh, one that is fresh strawberry scented. So they're originally $30 on sale for 15. I need to look and see if I have enough body scrub to last me until the next big sale or if I should pick up one because I think I've tried a sample of this and it was really good. They have all these about face eye products. So they have the shadow sticks. I haven't tried those. They have the mascara, the primer. The only thing I've tried is the line artist eyeliners. Here they are. So I have equestrian and I have this bright cerulean blue uh in sad girl but they have a lot of really pretty colors like these greens of course i would be gravitating towards because i love greens um they have this matte teal and this matte leafy green i love that and then there's these bright yellows and limes this looks like an interesting color right here um what did they describe this so important shade as as a matte terracotta red that's actually really cool and not something I have so and they even have like an orange these look interesting and I mean they're originally $13 which is already not terrible so for $6.50 I have a feeling I might not be able to resist and I might have to pick up a few more because the shades are also kind of cool and not your boring traditional just black and brown what else there's also the about face brushes oh wow okay cool I haven't tried them as I said I just posted a blush stick letter I am not in the market for blushes right this very moment but let's keep moving so the online only deals for march 12th are this cleansing oil facial cleanser by dhc i think i have a little teeny tiny sample of that that i need to try maybe before march 12th to see if this is something i should uh consider full size of or not again i'm not really into cleansing oils though so i have a feeling if i'm going to commit to a full size cleansing oil it's gonna be that peach and lily one over this uh, virtue has hydrating and heat protectant healing hair oil. I know nothing about this product 
absolutely nothing. Same with this Kinship Bright Wave Vitamin C Energizing and Brightening Eye Cream. These names, oh my goodness. I don't need any eye cream. I have so much eye cream. Curl Smith seems like the entire line, no, just a few products aren't on sale. I know some of their products were in the preview. And Curl Smith for curly gals, which usually I am, but this is like week old hair. They usually have very good products. I find quite a few of them though, to be honest, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so. But 50% off though is a great deal it's probably about the same price as dj max and marshall so you might as well buy from ulta um, and then offer highlighters over highlighters are always on sale for 21 days of beauty or now the semi-annual sale event and i am not looking to buy an offer highlighter they're, they're great they're they're smooth they're super blingy i actually have one or two and i do still on occasion enjoy them it's just not a brand i really buy from so um, all right march 13th we're getting close We've got the Kapari Beauty Golden Aura Body Oil. I only have one body oil that I've recently started using and I have been enjoying it. I don't know. Uh, winter is almost over though, so I feel like not gonna be moisturizing quite as much. I can probably live without this for now. I, I did hear somebody talk about this recently though and say that they enjoyed it. I can't remember who though. I'm so sorry. Uh, more IT brushes. Some of these look like really nice, interesting shapes. There's a blush brush. There's a foundation brush. The Smashbox Original Photo Finish uh, Primer. I mean, this thing has also been around for ages and ages and ages. It is a silicone type primer and I don't usually prefer those. I have tried this many years ago. I really didn't like also the chemical smell that it had back then. I don't know if it still does, but regardless, that kind of turned me off from it. I have never tried again. Beauty Bio Glow Facial Hydro Infusion Pore Cleansing and Blue LED Clarifying Tool. That is a mouthful, but I am lately like fascinated by at home devices. It, they're just usually pricey though. So I don't think it's in my budget right now, but you know, if $100 instead of 200, if you're looking for something like that, maybe worth researching further and looking up some reviews. KVD Beauty Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Serum Foundation. I have not tried any of the Good Apple products, so I am unfortunately can't really tell you how I feel about them. Let us know what you think if you've tried it. Please, you know, educate us so that we know if this is something that is of interest. Uh, even and NYC. I feel like I've tried something from Eva NYC. It's a hair care brand. Again, I'm not really in the in the market right now to be buying a lot of hair care, but hydrating leave-in conditioner is what is on sale here. And again, all the Smashbox primers not just the original. That's that. Let's see what we've got in the online only steals for that same day. This is March 13th that I am still on. So I believe that is, is that next Wednesday? I think so. The Mac paint pots. I mean, these are, these are the OGs and they're now back. These used to be huge on YouTube. I mean, what is that, like 2014, 15, maybe even before. And it seems like now they've made a comeback. I've never used them and I don't think I need to start at this point. I have so many other ways of priming my eyes for eyeshadow, but if you are into paint pots and you need one, $26 is what it is originally. So obviously 13 is a lot better. The COSRX Niacinamide Serum. This, I believe, no, I think I have the toner. I have a little sample that I'm trying right now, something from Coast RX, but I don't believe it's this. But it has 4.6 stars, lots of reviews. It's only $25 originally, so it's going to be on sale for $12.50. So if you're looking for a niacinamide serum, I mean, Coast RX overall is a good brand. I've tried a couple of products from them and I've enjoyed them. Wells Fusion Intense Repair Shampoo and Conditioner and Repair Mask. Again, I'm going to skip over all of this. The Belief moisturizers, however, did catch my eye just now. It looks like the sleeping mask is on sale, which I've never tried. And then there's the, um, Oh, it's the Hydrating Overnight Lip Mask. I see. So their traditional moisturizers, I guess, are too good of a bestsellers to be put on sale. That's that's what I would be interested in. This, I couldn't tell you anything about uh, that. As I mentioned before, there's more hair dryers. This one is much cheaper than the first one we saw. And there's more Eva NYC products. So if you're looking for something specific, definitely take a peek. It seems like there's quite a lot of options. But we are going to 
gonna move on all right are we on the last day yes we're on the last day of the first week so let's take a look here on march 14th we've got kendra professional platinum working spray hairspray moving on as i said i don't want to be talking about hair i kind of wish it wasn't in the sale exuvian's performance peel at home facial peel Ooh, if it wasn't 86 dollars i mean yes i guess it's going to be 43 how many treatments are on here what is this step one step two and how does this work the reason i'm curious is there is um it's not really a facial peel it's like a scrub from um is it philosophy that i used to love it was like um you first put this thick pasty scrub and then a liquid over it and it would like foam up and warm your skin and then you wash it off and your skin feels so smooth and so soft i really need to be on the lookout for that product Product again because it was also expensive though it was also i think in the 80 dollar range which is why i haven't used it in quite a few years but how many treatments do you get with this six weeks supply 13 step one activator pads and 13 oh 13 step one activator pads and 13 step two neutralizer pads so is this something you use twice a week i guess yeah, twice a week. It's kind of interesting because it has, well, four and a half stars, but over a thousand reviews. If you've used this, can you please let me know? Uh, Dermaflash, this ultrasonic pore extractor and serum infuser. I have one of these that I think I bought when Derma, Derma Flash was, I think on their website, was having like some super sale. It was either Black Friday or something, but I still have yet to use it. So I need to bust mine out and see if it works. I mean, I don't need one because I already have one. I don't know if it's this specific one, but yeah, I guess you know like 54 dollars or whatever is definitely much better than 109 if you have one of these and you use it can you let us all know what your thoughts are on this because i unfortunately haven't yet made time to try mine so i have no input to share with you guys the Too faced cloud crush blurring blushes i've never been interested in these but i've heard quite a few people uh praise these online so if this is a blush you've wanted to try definitely a good time to do it at $14.50. And then we've got the REM Beauty Interstellar Highlighter Topper. I know I think Anielka Nyquist really likes the REM highlighters, but I don't know if it's the same thing. I don't know what this highlighter topper is and it seems to have really wild colors over here so i gotta do a little digging on that maybe go back to her videos and see if this is the product that she i think she even put it like in her 2023 favorites so that's probably the video i'm gonna refer back to and see if this is something that i need to put on my wish list or not there's more kendra professional hair products which we're skipping over there's another it brush and there's more exuvians products there's the exfoliating face pads and the retinol correcting facial peel. I have quite a few retinol products that I need to go through, so I'm gonna skip over those. But let's look to see at what we have in the final day, but online only. We have the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Liquid Foundation Drops. Don't know anything about this not really interested oh this is something i'm interested in even though it is expensive so i'm really gonna have to see if this is something i can budget in or not this uh exfoliate intensive exfoliating treatment from kate somerville this is a product that's been around a long time i've used it on and off for many years i know a lot of people are anti-physical exfoliators i do still like them to be honest and i got a sample again i pulled this out because it's basically empty i don't know maybe i can cut this and get one more use out of it but i just recently used up this sample and it made me remember how much i love this product it's not for everybody because it not only is quite scrubby but it has a bit of like a stingy i don't know if i would call it stingy but definitely like a tingly mentholy type of sensation on your skin so if if you're a little bit weary of that and have sensory issues maybe you wouldn't enjoy that but this is another one of those products where you like rub it in you do it in, i do it in the shower at least because i think you have to do it on wet skin because it's quite a thick paste and you leave it on for t two minutes because uh, you know hence the i think intensive exfoliating treatment you don't want to like burn your skin off or whatever yeah it says use one or two times a week apply to a wet face massage for 30 seconds leave on for up to two minutes rinse and gently pat 
somewhat dry. This leaves my skin so soft and smooth afterwards. I really enjoy this product. They actually have it right now on sale at I think the Durham store and I was tempted to possibly buy it there but I'm so glad I didn't because it's I'm assuming going to be 50% off instead of 20% off in the Ulta sale on what is this? What day am I looking at? March 14th? So this is definitely going on my wish list which means it's possible some other products are going to get taken off my wish list. I'm going to have to make a list with the prices and figure that out. And then we've got AG Care. Uh, what is this? Iron spray, spray. No, we're going to skip all this AG Care stuff. They do have also the other really popular Kate Somerville product, which is the spot on treatment for acne. I used to have this too. I don't get thankfully too much acne. I mean, I do hormonal sometimes like I have one here. It happens, but I don't think it happens enough for me to justify buying that whole bottle. It's a little bottle, but because you put the Q-tip and you just do spot treatment for somebody that would use it, you know, like two or three times a month, this would last an eternity. So I think I'm going to skip on that. But I'm seriously considering the exfoliating treatment. We've got the Urban Decay Quickie 24 hour full coverage waterproof concealer. I've never tried it and I'm trying to remember what I've heard about it. And I can't remember what I've heard about it. I don't really need a concealer. I am testing out all the ones that I already own and trying to figure out what I like and what I don't. I don't want right now to bring in any others. And then we've got the Ico Black Magic Mascara. I feel like this used to be popular a few years ago and now no one seems to be talking about it. I've never tried it, so I can't really tell you much about it. And then there's these hot rollers, which seem to have horrible reviews. I don't really need hot rollers. Is there anything else? Oh, more Kate Somerville. Okay, I didn't see those. So that's kind of interesting to go through. More Ico. Seems like the entire AG Care line is on here. And and that is that. Did I miss anything? No, it looks like because this new semi-annual event has so much crammed into each day, they're not really doing the additional things. Like they used to, I really liked it much better when they did the 50% off daily steals for just a few items. And then they would do 30% off this entire brand or buy one, get one for this. Like they used to throw in a bunch of other stuff too. And I just, I don't I like that format better. It seemed more fun. It seemed more interactive. This to me just seems a little dull. And also, again, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's only a week of three. So I have no clue what's coming beyond that. Like even as a creator, and I now am dabbling more and more into websites that do affiliates and therefore you get access to, like as I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I signed up for a Zoom meeting where I got to learn about this a little bit in advance. And even as creators, you don't really get much of a heads up, which I think I think that's kind of a bummer because it really makes not just shopping but also informing people about the sales more difficult. But that's my take. I'm sure I'm sure there's gonna be other people that are going to have really great and valid points in favor of this new format and this new layout. And I'm really curious about the discussion that I'm sure we're about to see because I, I would imagine there's gonna be people like myself who are still very curious about the sale, who are gonna create videos. And I'm really eager to hear all of their thoughts and opinions on this. My initial reaction when I heard about it, even on that Zoom meeting was, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm also sometimes a creature of habit. So it takes me time to readjust to certain things. So I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the sale? Do you like this new layout? Do you like the fact that there's more variety in the types of products and the amount of products? And just in general, do you think there's any good products in the sale? Overall, honestly, with the exception of a few standouts, I do feel like just like any previous 21 Days of Beauty sale, th there's of course a lot of fillers, at least for me, there's a lot of filler products that I could do without. But I guess that's just, you know, the name of the game. Obviously, Obviously, if a product is selling amazingly well at full price, there's absolutely no reason to put it on sale. And logically, that makes perfect sense. Even if we as consumers would love for our faves to go on sale, it's not always going to happen. I think this is where I need to wrap it up. Oh, no, I promised you guys the complete haul. So I didn't buy that much. I already showed you guys the uh, cleanser. Let me open it up so that you see. It's exactly as my baby. <laughs> so there's that. I guess let me scooch back 
back over it. So yeah, I got that. I'm really excited. I got the Morphe spray that I already showed you. And they were having a $10 off 50 or $20 off 100, but obviously on the non-sale items, not the, you know, the 50% off seals that they previewed for Diamond and Platinum members. So I decided I really didn't need these things, but these are products. Well, one of these products, especially something I've wanted to try for months. I've heard so many people rave about it. And that's the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop, the foundation stick. This is, I believe, except for a highlighter that I got like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I believe this is my only Fenty product like ever. So I'm really excited. I have no idea. I think the shades I was a little confused by. I can't remember if I got the, I got two. So I guess I got the second lightest shade. Does it say what it is? It says two. I'm opening this for the very first time. I couldn't tell you guys anything about it. It doesn't look like there's that much product and it was not cheap, but we're gonna try this out at some point. I don't even wanna swatch it yet. Should I, should I just swatch it? Ooh, it's quite creamy for a stick. So there it is. I think it might work. I guess I'll see once I try it, but I'm really, really curious about that. I'm gonna leave this thing off. And do you guys keep these? I'm never good at these. Do these do anything? Like, do they keep the product from drying out? I always end up just destroying the product with it. And then what I tried on my cheeks today is this Juvia's Place Blushed Liquid Blush. And this I got because this was like 40 something dollars. I think so of course to get the $10 off 50 I had to buy something else and I was like well I think these are 18 I was like well you know so basically this will be like eight bucks I got the soft tulip if this is the right product I believe the couple of people I've seen use this claim that it's like super shiny and hydrating looking on the cheeks and very very pigmented so I did like a drop on my hand and I started going in and yes it was quite pigmented so there's that shade. What did I say? What was it? Soft tulip. Definitely very pigmented. I'm gonna wipe that off so then I don't get it all over myself. But I didn't feel like it was very shiny looking. Like hydrating, yes. It definitely has a sheen to it. It doesn't have a more of that highlighty effect. So I actually ended up mixing, mixing it with, hold please, the Say Glowy Super Gel, which is in my project pan. So so I put a little pump of that, mix it in, and then applied it with a dual fiber brush because I'm trying to use my dual fiber brushes. If you've seen my brush declutter, you would know I'm struggling to figure out how to use those. This is my project pan, so I figured I'd mix it in, but then I noticed it started picking up. I don't have foundation on today. I just used a little bit of concealer in some places, so I, I felt like it started picking up some of the concealer around here, and I don't know which of these products did that. So now I have to, of course, use it without that and see how it goes. But yeah, that is what I got. I got these four products. I got the Fenty, the Juvia's Place, the Peach and Lily, and the Morphe. So you guys got my thoughts on the first week of the 21... Nope, not the 21 Days of Beauty. You got my thoughts on the first week of the Ulta semi-annual beauty event and also my haul from when they did the preview because I I am platinum. I made platinum like on the last day of 2023. I think I was $40 short of it or something and I was like oh darn it all right fine fine I'll do it and I ended up buying something to make sure I become platinum mainly because I knew that 21 days of beauty means I would get free shipping but now I'm not even even sure what that is going to be like. I need to read the fine print. Let me stop rambling from exhaustion. Let me get going because I'm the one that's going to have to edit this later. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to hear all of your thoughts on this new format of the sale. I want to hear what you guys are interested in and what you're picking up. And I also want to thank you if you're going to use my links because I am dabbling into this really scary new world of affiliate links. It's going to help me tremendously because, well, because, because I'm a musician and because I don't really have the budget to be testing a lot of products and trying a lot of products. So this is a huge help for me. Other than that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.